Welcome to the Daily App Show iPad Edition. My name is Jared, and today we're going to take a look at NewsRack, which is an RSS reader and aggregator for your iPad. So one of the things that I really wanted when I got the iPad is a good way to view all of the articles or all of the blogs that I have decided to follow using my Google Reader account. Now, you can't use Google Reader too well in Safari on the iPad mainly because it requires a lot of being able to scroll up and down inside of fields and that's hard to do in an iPad. So this application here has done a great job of bringing in all of your information from your Google Reader account into your iPad. So what you see over here is the different categories I've created in Google Reader for the different blogs that I follow. Then over here shows the article. So if I scroll all the way down and take a look at Daily App Show, which is a blog I follow, you can see the entries from Daily App Show here. So I can see these are just the text entries. I could see the text entries for these items and read these items. One of the nice things is, is that we have a lot of different ways to save or share this information. I could simply copy the URL. I could share it. I could Twitter it, email it, use Instapaper, uh, link it up at Delicious, use Read It Later post it to Facebook. There's so many different ways that I could save or share this uh, information should I like something that I see in one of these blogs. I can also add a star to it which makes it easy for me to go back and view these items because all of your starred items will show up. Up here you can just tap on starred and it will show you all of the articles that you have starred. So under Apple, because I have some Apple blogs, some Apple related blogs that I read, I don't have any articles specifically right now but I could download them and refresh right here just to check as well to see if there are more items available. So since I don't have any items available there, let's go and look under Android. So under Android, I've got a bunch of stuff here. Looks like we have a video inside of a blog entry, and so I could watch this video right from here, or I could just read this information. If I like this entry and I want to share it with people, I can use that here. If I happen to click on a link, I can view everything inside of here without it sending me out into Safari, which I really like. And then there's the return button right here, which just allows me to return back to where I was. I also have a forward and back keys right here so that I can navigate using the internal web browser here. So I'll just hit back and we'll go right back to where we were. So of course I could just tap and go right down the list here and read all these articles. Or if I feel that I just don't have time to read them and I need to clear things out, I can hit the check mark here and it will mark all of them red. I can also send these links, share these links with other people, and then I can download images here in case that I don't have a internet connection later when I want to go and read these uh, articles. It will have downloaded the images and then of course they'll show up when I don't have an internet connection. The refresh button right here, really easy to use. So let's mark all these red and go back. This app also looks really great in portrait view. It works just as well using the full screen browser up and down and then using this menu as a pop out. So what's really nice is if you wanted to add a blog to this system. So you want to manage your blogs from within the system. You hit edit right here and you can see you can edit any of these categories or reorganize them. So I can also add a new feed by hitting plus. I can enter the feed URL. I could browse in the feed directory. And I also have my Twitter timeline, delicious, and then the blog for NewsRack right here as well. So if I'm looking for blogs, I could go in the feed directory. I could search through all the popular ones. So let's say Apple, for example. And then we've got apple.com's hot news. We've got uh, the Google Mac blog. We've got a lot of different blogs here with information. So perhaps let's add the, um, the Google Mac blog. So I've added that one and let's do Daring Fireball and hit done. And done again. And now you can see I have those blogs here. Or wait a minute, perhaps they're down here. Yes, they're down here. We need to organize them still. So we tap on that and then hit 
right there and hit save. There we go. Google Mac blog, choose the Apple category, or of course we could type in our own category and hit save. Now we hit done, and now we have new items in our Apple category. Very easy to use, very easy to read the information. So if you're using an iPad 3G, of course, it doesn't matter if you download the images into the app or not. But if you're using the Wi-Fi edition, this application makes it really nice because then you can get all of the information that you need to read these items when you're offline as well. So not only is this an easy to use application, it's inexpensive. I definitely recommend NewsRack. I have tried other ones, not to say that they're not great. I've just found so far that NewsRack gets the job done for me. So definitely check it out in the App Store.